Ooh, wee guys, what is up? Nighthawk DBZ here. Welcome back to another Dragon Quest Die Heroes Bond video. And today, as you guys can see, I'm looking pretty badass with my new sick ass spear slash armor on me. So, without further ado, let's take a look at what we got. So, as you guys haven't seen the last video, previous video, we actually managed to pull almost everything we need out of the banner, which was good. So we're going to take a look at our characters. We're going to take a look at our new weapon. So this is my new character, new and improved character, I should say. So we do got the new spear, dark armor spear, which, of course, it is a spear. Element of stress. Physical attack is 72. Spear trait level one raises stress damage by 10%. Spear trait level two, level one, raises magical defense by 10%. So, not too bad. Pretty good of a spear. We do got the shield that went with it as well. The large shield, physical defense 62, magical defense 59, physical guard and magical guard 50-50 each, element resistance, 4 on thrust, 4 on fire. The shield's trait is raise sleep resistance by 20%. And of course, we do have the new armor piece that went with it as well. Uh, physical defense, 78. Magical defense, 68. Element resistance to thrust and fire is at least two each. And far as the trait for the shield, lowers the target physical defense temporarily with a counterattack hit by 20%. And of course, we did not pull the bottom. So I'm just running these bottoms for right now, which these are the fire bottoms. Uh, so I kind of got them running. Of course, we do have the new ultimate attack that comes with with the uh, spear called Sunderclaw, a mid-range attack over a small area that inflicts piercing physical thrust damage and temporarily applies detect, detect physical to the user when the special move hits. Thrust, one column and take, so it's a straight shot. The special move charge requires 1,300. Cooldown refresh is large. The might of the weapon as of right now is 3,029. Starting special charge is at 0%. Of course, it is a spear. Could be available to heroes and the available ally. It also is available to Lahart. And of course, you can upgrade the skill, which I did not mean to click on that. But um, we can upgrade the skill if we wanted to. But I do not have anything required here to upgrade this skill. Because I don't have the scrolls, I don't have the special scrolls, and I don't have the rainbow special scrolls. So I'm kind of at a whim right now with that, which that's okay. Um, so that is what my character is standing at. Of course, we had to bring Haikyuu, the Dark Armor Blade, um, Amado. Uh, of course, he's only at level 50 right now, but we did manage to upgrade him as well. So as you guys can see in the banner, I did pull a total of three of these i did get one within the key summon on my previous video so right now we're looking pretty good with the uh raise the user slash damage temporarily after performing that boss break so he's gonna come in handy for boss breaks and of course magical defense is at 10 percent so we did manage to get this bad boy right here up to level two as well so we are going to do a little bit more damage which is even better um didn't really do anything with the moves, honestly. I mean, I could probably change around one of the moves, but I mean, I only got those two moves, so there's nothing really I can do. So we're gonna kind of keep him here, and of course, I'm just bringing my die along and um, Baron along because why not? Honestly, why not? All right, so without further ado, let's go get Lahart. The poor man is sitting there, he's waiting in the events. He's waiting to be challenged. So without further ado, we got 10 days remaining by the time of recording this video. Let's go get ourselves a loyal land rider. And let's go bring him to the team, shall we? All right, so let's go. Lahart Outlook, episode one. I'm ready. Let's get him. Let's let's bring him to the team. Because I want to give him that armor. I want to kind of build him up pretty well as well. So I'm going to kind of let everything play out here. You know, with the quests and stuff like that. You know, all the story quests. And we're just going to take it from there. You know, I don't know. I don't really see them kind of. I mean, they could probably add the other character, the other two uh, Land Riders in. Which would be kind of interesting to see. But I don't know. Because they wasn't really. They didn't really have a change of heart 
as well as Lahart did. You know, he was more for his pride as well, but, you know, he kind of did have a bit of a change of heart as well. So, you know, we'll see. Maybe they could add in new characters. Like I did said in my way back in the previous video, um, you know, I would like to see them kind of start bringing villains to the to the game as well, like playable villain characters, which will be nice, like more of them. And there he is, all in his glory, Lahart. I kind of like, I kind of wish we kind of got that armor too. I mean, that would have been nice. Kind of like the dragon on the side right there. That's a pretty decent ass armor piece. Nastadino. All righty, and that. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, was the episode one. A few more episodes to go. <laughs> so we've got a long way to go. All right, episode two, let's go, let's go. We get some keys as well. So I did forget about this when I was doing my summon video about the keys. So um, I will be doing a key summon for the banner. Um, after I have all the keys, I think it's a total of eight keys. Uh, so we will be hopping back in to test our luck with the keys and hopefully maybe possibly we could probably get that bottom piece. That would be really nice, you know, but we, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll have to find out. All right. So let's jump in and let's do some work. And look at my character all in his glory. I'm like the son of Haikyuu. Turn off the auto mode. I'm like the son of him. I mean, I look exactly like him. Nice. I'm low. Hold on. Can we take... Oh! I am loving that super attack. I love how Haikyuu already has his armor up. Already has his ultimate ability up. Which is good. Alright. I want to see how much... I kind of want to see the ultimate. But my ultimate's nowhere near ready. And I know we're going to kill this guy in like two hits. So let's use Bloody Strider. Because we do got it up to level 2. <laughs> that was awesome. That was beautiful. Look at my armor. Oh my god, I look clean. I look fresh. Kind of goes with my hair a little bit. You know, it's kind of got that white silverish color. You know, looking good. Looking, looking fierce. I love it. Looking real fierce. Oh, I do got to upgrade Haikyuu a little bit. So, I don't know. Maybe I have to do that after the video. Which is cool. I mean, I do got to get him up to level 60. Mm, 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 mm. Loving it. Okay, well now, yeah. I also forgot. This is the free-to-play spear that we can get. Just in case if you don't pull it. But you just don't pull off that ultimate move. Which is fine. In one sense. But, you know... It's kind of like just in case, you know, I mean, I can always put that spear on my character, but I will probably just still continue to run my thunder spear because, you know, I do love my thunder spear. Kind of wish I could pull another one of my thunder spears because I really can use a, another piece of the spear. Kind of want to get up other uh, vocations up as well. Because I just don't want to run the spears. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the spears because the spears have, like, the range. But that's kind of why i just kind of been running uh, spears since the game first came out. Oh, my God. The amount of damage that we just do. It's beautiful. Even though we're still in the beginning level. Which is all right. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section down below. Don't my character look good? I think my character looked mighty, mighty good. Mighty good. I am like this. Like I said, I'm like the son of Haikyuu. You look at Haikyuu and you look at my character. I see that I'm the son of him or I'm his brother. Like his little, little baby brother. Just without no eyebrows. All right. Anything for Master Dino. Episode four. What would you do 
for Master Dino. Well, obviously, Dino does not want your help. That's why he's like, listen, dude, just get the hell out of here. I would actually be kind of cool, you know, just to kind of have like, like, you know, if all three of the, like, if hypothetically, hypothetically, you know, if Lahart actually did not die, you know, I feel like that Baron, you know, would just been like, yo, Lahart, keep back the mind. Like, you know, look after Dino. That would have been good. That would have been, yeah, I would have teared. I would have cried. I would have cried. I, I so would have cried. That that would have happened. Like when Baron died and he just kind of like, you know, kind of like had like that thing that made Lahart think like, you know, look, Baron's gone. I got to keep an eye out for Dino. Oh, I'm proud. Definitely would have been interesting to see. You know, instead of seeing all three of the riders kind of go all at once. Yeah, that was a fast episode. And plus, we got 30 slime gems, so that's also good. So the more I build up my slime gems, the more I can definitely come back on the banner, possibly for a far, part two. I said part, part two, which I'm definitely going to be doing chapter eight as well, probably before I do the summon as well, and before I do the keys. And of course, yes, cannot forget about the super attack. We need the super attack, because if we can get... More super attacks, I can get the super attack leveled up and I can start doing some more damage, which I kind of want to start doing. That's why I've been kind of grinding like the events out, trying to get them up to like the max level so I can start producing more damage. Oh, I'm loving the crits though. Oh my goodness. The crits are absolutely amazing. Like I said in my previous video, let me guys know what you guys think about the, the lance. Do you love it? Do you hate it? I mean, can you work with it? I'm kind of late. I'm loving it. I just want to see the ultimate attack, but I know I'm not going to see the ultimate attack until I get further up, up into the, um, the story. But I think once I get Lahart up and ready to go, I think I'm just going to put the spear onto him and kind of let him run this spear because I can always use another spear and I might take out I don't know how I'm going to run the team Knight Aberrant we're just going to bloody, bloody strider your your ass ooh is there a chance that we actually might be seeing our old no I guess maybe maybe come on come on come on, come on swap swap there we go There we go. Let's do it. Let's see it. Yes. Yep. That's that's an awesome mass ultimate. And especially since my character did it. Oh yeah. That is that is amazing. That is perfect. That was like 10 out of 10. Best ultimate. Recommend. White screen. We're definitely freezing. Hello, game. Game. Yep. All right, I will be right back after these technical difficulties. All righty, and we are back once again after that little technical difficulty. So apparently, yeah, my game did freeze. But that's okay. We're on episode five, and we're getting more of that delicious, beautiful ultimate. Super attack on me. Excuse me there. So let's continue to grab our character, grab our good stuff, and hop in and do some battle. I think we're doing a good amount of damage. Kind of wish you can actually pick like what you want your characters to do, like. Because sometimes I feel like Baron does die a little quick, even though I got him leveled up pretty good. But I feel like, you know, at some points, you know, I'd like to see them maybe, like, with the game, just kind of be like, hey, look, you know, like, you can set, like, what you want your character to be on. Like, if you want him to be offense, he just goes right in and just continues to slice, continues, 
you know, do all the damage. If you want him kind of like on not aggressive, you know, he kind of like kind of jumps in and does a couple hits, jump back, kind of sits for a couple minutes, jump in, you know, just to kind of keep the health going. I feel like we did this already. All right, let's use uh, Bloody Strider. Good, good damage, good damage. I think we're going to use our Lightning of Von Strash. Awesome. <clears throat> All righty, so we another stage completed. Awesome, great, fantastic. Again, all of our good stuff. And I think we're just about finishing up. I think we got, what, I think we just completed episode five. Yeah, here we go, episode six. So we got... Yeah, two more missions. Two more beautiful missions. And we can get Lahart. And then I'll probably just take some time, level him up. I will definitely come back for the Protation Battle, which I kind of want to try out, uh, Lahart. I feel like I didn't look at it yet, but I feel like Lahart or even like Spears are going to kind of be a big major role in the next battle uh, for Protation Battle. Even when Battle Arena comes back, I think we should be expecting a Battle Arena notification hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, because I am ready. Oh, yeah, that boss is right in front of my face. I'm thinking, like, okay, where the hell's the boss at? There we go. That We beated him a lot easier. A lot easier. Not bad, not bad at all. All right. Not bad, not bad at all. We got all the good stuff. All right, number seven. Then after that, we'll finish off with the final battle, boss battle, and then we'll get Lahart. Now we can see what type of character he is. Like I said, I haven't... Got a chance to look at him. I kind of just summoned for the weapon. I came right over here to the event. Which you guys will be seeing this the next day after the event. But it's still the same day for me. Boss battle. Here we go. Who we fighting? Fighting a... Yeah, I, I knew we were fighting a dragon. I saw a totally different name though. Go right in with Bloody Strider. Kind of love the fact that we can get an ultimate ability like that at level 2. I kind of am hoping... Kind of hoping that all of, all weapons at level 2 get like that. Because I would definitely go for... I'll definitely go for another spear if I have to. No problemo. Easy win. What if I just ran a... Full team of spear users. That would be pretty fun. Especially with the amount of range that you'll have. I feel like it would also be overkill. But nah, I think it'll be fun. Alright, number eight. Just a story, and we get Lahart. I'm gonna let it do what it's gotta do. And yeah, enjoy the show. Because I also kind of want to take a look to see if anything new for on a Twitter. Let's see. Oh, just new soul crystals. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, nothing new. Just besides everything that I went over in my one video. Well, like I said, hopefully we should be expecting the new season 
uh, the new Battle Arena season soon. So I'm kind of hoping now since I got a little heart and I got a lot of good weapons and stuff. I'm kind of hoping to go a little bit higher. Possibly, maybe. Not bad, not bad, not bad. There it is, right there. Boom. La Heart, all in his glory. Love it. Damn. Now I gotta give up my armor already. Alright, so. <clears throat> La Heart Dark Armor Spear specializes in attack attacking rapidly and inflicting a lot of inflicting a lot of rust thrust damage which is good add them to your party to give you the edge against enemies weak to thrust la heart special move thunderclaw is a mid-range attack over a small area that inflicts piercing physical thrust damage it also temporarily applies detect physical status to the user which that's also good too and also we already saw the ultimate and move in action with our character so we do got ourselves a new and improved the heart to the team. So um, I'm going to take some time. I'm going to go get, get them leveled up. I'm going to continue to do the event as well to try to get the rest of the keys up and going. Uh, so like I said, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. Also subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed it. And want to see more Dragon Quest Die A Heroes Bond content. We are almost up to our first milestone, which is 100 subscribers, which will be awesome to see happen. I thank each and every last one of you for joining uh, the Dragon Quest channel, you know, where we play Dragon Quest Die A Heroes Bond. And, you know, hopefully we can continue to keep this game going. And... Like I did said before, I do want to start streaming on Twitch. Maybe even... Playing the other Dragon Quest games, which will be pretty fun to see. Pretty fun to do as well. So I always make sure to let you guys know when I'm going live on Twitch. So don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you guys do have Twitter. Uh, link is in the bio down below. If it's not there, then I mean, I would just have I'll try to remember to put it down there for you guys. But other than that, have a good one. Stay safe out there. And until the next quest, I will see you guys all in the next one. Alrighty. Later.